Logan Paul is good. So you might just think that Logan Paul's filming of a dead body in Japan means that video is infamous and his reputation is now taking a beating, but the incident and his channel as a whole has much wider re repercussions, not just sparking a debate over the internet and YouTube, but the entire world as a whole. It's to do with power. First of all, I'd like to say that while I disagree with his actions on this occasion, that's not to say that I haven't agreed with similar actions in the past. For example, when I was a kid, I was really into a duo called Dick and Dom, who used to make loads of toilet jokes and throw food at each other, and even sparked a debate in the UK Parliament. Then, as a teenager, I was into jackass, who similarly have disrespected the people of Japan. It doesn't mean it's necessarily morally right or funny, it just means that there's an audience for it. It appeals to children and teenagers who like to rebel against their parents. The difference being a child being a rebel just affects their education and home life and is constrained within the protected pocket of playfulness, but an adult being a rebel affects the adult world. So while the Paul brothers act like children, which in a child's life would be relatively inconsequential, for example, I used to rip the wallpaper off the wall as a toddler, an action which can be forgiven to a learning child, but it's much more threatening when you're an adult. You see it in animals. When baby cubs fight, it's just playful fun to help them learn for when they're older, but when adult lions fight, it's like a threat to their territory. Children like to watch adults being silly because it broadens their understanding of the world around them. It's playful. In the case of YouTube, where there's an audience, there's a following, and a following is power. There are two ways of gaining power. The first is to buy it, which monarchies, dictatorships, and advertisers here on YouTube do. This creates illegitimate power because the people who follow you are doing so because they're forced to and corruption is leading them to agree. This type of power is much less stable. The other type of power is legitimate power, gained through having a following, perhaps through democracy or getting people to like, subscribe and watch your content here on YouTube. The Paul brothers are a legitimate power as they have, like Trump, gained their following rather than forced it. This makes them more stable and more likely to stay here on YouTube. But as we know, there are barriers to success here on YouTube that can turn your following away or even against you. And to some, having a following on the internet is largely inconsequential. After all, it's just a bunch of code which can be hacked or manipulated to gain that following. But the world reacts on the information it receives. Information is pushed along by entertainment. We consume only the information we find most entertaining. Information is then filtered through YouTube's guidelines and advertisers to reach us. In the case of the Paul brothers and Trump, the more controversial their tweets and videos are, the more it sparks debate, and the more the mainstream media replicates the information elsewhere. It goes viral. This isn't a new thing. Back in medieval times, the legend of Robin Hood was popular because a guy committing a Christian sin, stealing, was controversially giving money from the rich to the poor, therefore appealing to his audience. The Paul brothers are breaking all the rules on YouTube, but controversially giving it to their child audience. The poor like money just as much as children like to break the rules. Many have suggested that by being controversial, the Paul brothers have further legitimised the rights of advertisers to censor information. But information, which is too entertaining, is also damaging to the morality and truth behind that information. Just because some people agree with, follow, like or watch something, it doesn't mean it's necessarily betraying something that's right, true and advances human beings any further. We are just sheep, essentially being led like cattle. So sometimes illegitimate powers such as the law are a necessary form of control. It stops riots and coups, for example. But making advertisers too powerful means we only get to see the information they agree with, which makes it harder to know the truth. In the end, unlike Star Wars, the morally right thing, the truth and the good, is suppressed by power, meaning people are blinded or follow false trails into dark alleys. Paul Brothers may be an example of that dark alley. We could be blinded by future senses, or time could tell that being deliberately morally wrong, stupid, immature, and unfunny to most people except your following is right, because making mistakes 
is an important part of growth. Do you agree with me? Are we destined to fail on this journey through the information age, or will senses come down hard on us? Join in the debate below and subscribe.